Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the vlog. It is Monday, 10 a.m. Monday, what's the day? Monday, 10 a.m. Monday, August 18th. August 18th, I can't even talk. 10 a.m. I just woke up like 25 minutes ago. A long night. I slept at like 4 a.m. And then just got up. Um, woke up. I've been kind of going through my emails. And I was just actually speaking to my a friend and assistant. She just got back from her vacation. And we were talking because there's going to be some changes, there's going to be some schedule shifting, and uh, we're not too sure how it's going to work out. But basically, she has new class schedule because here in Japan, summer, it's officially ending type thing, so she has classes. Um, and um, one, of her, one of her classes now will be switched to the morning classes, the only one she can get. So I think it's like Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday or something to that effect. She has morning classes, so she won't be coming in in the morning, and she doesn't get done till late afternoon. Or not late afternoon, like, she doesn't get done till after lunch. So we're going to have to work around the schedule. We'll either shift it, or I can just have her work remote for some of the things that she's going to be doing. So I can, you know, for the articles and stuff like that, she can do all of that remotely. Uh, I don't really need her in office for all of that. But, um, again, we're just going to discuss about how that's going to go around. And, and, if, and if she has to, you know, won't be able to come in anymore, then that's you know, that'll be that. Because when I hired her, we knew the situation and, and it was te excuse me, temporary in the fact that uh, school obviously will be her priority and I understand that. So if school came up and stuff like that, I told her like it's no problem, then, you know, do that. Because um, that's her, you know, the path that she wants to go down and all that. So uh, that's that, you know, we'll work around that. I have a couple of errands to run today. I have to do a Quite a bit. Basically, I'm getting a new driver's license renewed and a new identification card, the military ID that we have here. Because um, basically, I used to be my mom's, my dad used to be my sponsor in the military, but now it's going to be my mom because of some, some orders that are changing. So I have to go through this whole rigmarole of the process. Um, and I, I don't even have my car, so my mom has to pick me up during lunch, and I have to ride with her because my car's in the shop. So I'm going to get ready. I am going to shower. I'm going to get suited up and uh, begin work. I have a couple things to power through. I'm going to get through those, get picked up, go with my mom to lunch, and then after that whole process gets done, um, I'm actually going to meet up with my friend because I haven't seen her in a week, so we're just going to catch up and probably go uh, just go out for a little bit before she has her night class tonight. I think her class starts at like 8, so yeah, lots of stuff to do today, lots of work to get done, and welcome to the vlog. Sorry for the long intro. I'll catch you guys in a bit. I always say, oh my gosh. My dog pooed on the floor. It's amazing. I'm not even going to show you that. But um, I always say, I'll catch you guys in a bit, but for YouTube, that's literally like seconds. And just like that, I am all tidied up. Just freshly shaved. It's been a while. It's been like oh, almost two weeks. Uh, got the, I'm getting suited up. Got the new tie going. I, I just got this tie yesterday. Um, it's this purple kind of pattern tie. This is a Valentino, a Valentino tie. I got it with another tie that I have sitting over there um but I, I don't really have any like bold colors or off colors as far as like I have like a lot of blues and reds so I have like the standard stuff I wanted to get some stuff that's kind of out there so I got this purple tie um there's some nice Versace ties that they had another Ver Versace tie that was purple which wasn't too bad and it was actually only like $40 which wasn't too expensive at all for a Versace tie so um but I didn't I decided not to go with that because it's like the standard pattern that I have with a lot of my other ties um, so I got this to kind of clash with, you can't really see, but the shirt's like a purple. It looks white, but it's like an off pink. Um, it makes it stand out a little bit more. What I also need are a lot more solid ties, like looking at my tie wardrobe. And I haven't bought ties in a long time. I, I used to buy them every Tuesday. I, I called it Tie Tuesday. Um, but I kind of slowed down for a bit because I was dealing with some stuff. Um, but um, yeah, I need, I need a lot more solids in my wardrobe, especially because my suits are like pinstripe, so it, it, it would mesh better. Anyways, uh, with that, I'm going to get started with the day. I'm going to make breakfast and jump in, write a couple articles, and uh, get some work done. Today's smoothie is consisted of strawberry yogurt, two bananas, or no, two and a half, or one and a half bananas, pretty much, a handful of blueberries, and two ice cubes to top it off, and then some milk, and yep, that's about it, I think. <sighs> Alright, so, I probably could have stood to 
add an extra ice cube in there. And I need to get actual like Greek yogurt because the consistency is a little bit too liquidy. And I like it a little bit more like thick rather than just like uh, one, I probably added too much milk. I need to get the right milk and right yogurt and uh, some other stuff because I wanted to do like the whole green smoothie thing. Anyways, that song you were listening to in the background or that mixtape actually is by Logic. He's also known as Young Sinatra. He was like a very underground rapper when I found out about him. And even now, he's not like mainstream, I guess, but he has a bit of a following now. And he, he does really, I hear something in the background. I don't know what that is, though. I have a stream going on on Twitch. Um, but uh, no, his, his music's really good. I, I really like his like his flow and his, his mixtapes are just uh, like something I, I got really, really hooked on. I forgot, I think I found out about his video or his music through, oddly enough, it was like a Call of Duty montage or something. I think he's friends with one of the guys who was in the FaZe Clan, and they used one of his songs, and then from there on out, like, I got hooked to his music, so definitely check him out. I'll leave that link to the mixtape down below. Hey guys, how long has it been? It's been like five hours, or like six hours. I'm sitting here with my friend, I can't see her on screen, but I wanted to do a space test of these things right here. Can you, can you see it? Perfect. I don't know what these are. I mean, I know what they are, obviously, but we'd want to try them, so here we go. Yeah, I know what these are. peanut butter stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I feel peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I bet it's like Reese's. You yeah. think so? You ready? It's the popcorn. It's like, salty. It's like peanut butter cream, but... I don't know. We didn't even look at the peanut butter. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay, I can't bite into the recorded now. It is. Huh? It's just straight up peanut butter, yeah. Is that what Reese's peanut butter tastes like to you? No, right? No. Yeah, okay, good. It's more creamy. Mm -hmm. Like Peter Pan shit. Not bad. H.K. Anderson, that's some third ass party brand. I don't know what that is. Alright. I'm going to enjoy my food now, so. Alright guys, so, I know you can barely see me right now. Uh, I'm actually not even in my car, I'm in my mother's car. Hang on, I gotta move up okay, to pause the music for the Um, and there's hella traffic going on right now, I have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to enter one of the main gates of the Air Force Base, it's called Gate 1, that's why it's the main gate. Um, for some reason, it's super backed up right now. Usually when that happens, there's a couple reasons. Like sometimes they don't have enough gate guards, which are the people who check your IDs. Uh, usually there's like two two lanes or two yeah two lanes for you to go through. But sometimes when it's just one gate guard, it gets seriously backed up like it is right now. Let me go ahead. Sorry, I'm signaling this guy to go ahead of me. Anyways, um, yeah, I do apologize. I haven't been. I didn't. I kind of skip the middle portion of my day I've been really back and forth first I had to go to the licensing or first I went to lunch with my mom and then I went to the licensing place uh, renewed my driver's license after that I picked up my friend um, and we just kind of caught up she was telling me about her trip that she took and um, after that I stopped by uh, my house and then we went out to go I just went to get food so as you saw earlier I just literally eating snacks and um, I got chicken nuggets from Burger King, which since I've been kind of working out and stuff, I, any, now I want to eat like fast food, it feels like really, um, really, really bad, <laughs> even though normally like my diet in general is bad, but uh, what do you call that? For some reason, it, it wasn't even not much chicken nuggets. I think I just, I knew I wasn't hungry, but I bought food anyway. And anytime I'm eating food, even though I know I'm, I'm not like hungry, it makes me feel bad <laughs> because I feel like bloated. Um, but yeah, normally I, I eat junk food a lot. <laughs> that's my that's my one vice. Um, anyways, um, I was just kind of working on a new schedule with my friend because since she has Monday through Thursday classes now, in the morning we kind of rearrange the schedule uh, around so she'll be coming in on uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, not Friday. She has Monday and Tuesday off. Um, I'm not sure about Friday. Friday's like a if he's still. I'm still deciding on that. So she'll be coming in Wednesdays and Thursdays still and just at different hours um, and working later into the afternoon and then she's also willing to do Saturday Sundays and she doesn't have really anything to do or she doesn't you know if she has stuff to do on the weekend I told her it's no problem but um, if not she's willing to work Saturday Sunday and I told her like if that's fine with you like she's the one who offered if that's fine with you it's fine with me because 
me personally, I'm always working on the weekend, so I wouldn't mind shifting my days around and then maybe just do less work in the middle of the work week. I don't know. I'll shift it around to find out how I'm going to do it. But basically, so far, it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, possibly Friday, and then uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, rather, so she can fit around her schedule uh, for her classes because she's both night and morning classes. All right, I'm going to go through the gate, so I'm going to cut this clip. All right, so I'm back home. Got my Arnold Palmer light for the night. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. I'm just trying to show it. No. <laughs> <laughs> tired actually and uh the tide's coming off um as you can tell i went for the whole purple theme today um but i'm just settling down and gonna get to work on the newer schedule like i was talking about earlier i gotta work around that so what i'm gonna be doing is kind of just moving some stuff around on my schedule and calendars to kind of accommodate for when my assistant will be in and stuff like that and then kind of shift around the stuff that just means I'll be editing, doing some extra editing and some extra tasks on the days that she's not coming in. And I have no idea what, what, what I'm doing here. I'm trying to unwound it, but there you go. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just kind of relaxing and going through also email as well and just kind of moving some stuff around and checking up on my client work and what I got to get done. Uh, been a long day and uh, going to be another busy week as usual. And with this whole thing, this kind of shifting around and a lot of stuff to kind of move about, so you got to get onwards with that. But I love this like inverted cuff, like the when the cuffs have that like design in the inside. It's really nice on dress shirts, at least. Like shows a little bit of personality. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's 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 nice when you obviously roll up your sleeves, unless you're rolling it up like I am now. Then I'm totally covering that, but. Uh, I really like that in the dress shirt. Even like contrasting color, collar, and they have like a contrast color. Usually, white looks good, uh, like a white collar. But I don't, you don't normally see like other contrasting colors. Hey guys, so fresh out of the shower, I just spent the last minute deleting 160 plus clips on my camera roll. That's not even half the stuff I need to delete because my device is already full. I'm trying to get in the habit of deleting all my old vlog, vlog clips. Because nowadays, everything that I upload to the internet can easily be backed up or exported from YouTube if I ever need it again. And obviously, it, it's nice to have... I, I used to keep, like, actual backups of all my videos, but, you know, for archival purposes. But nowadays, I, I don't see YouTube going anywhere for a while. And then there'll be times every couple of months where I'll go on YouTube, extract all my videos, and put them on an external hard drive. But as of right now, I delete the raw clips after I've rendered the full vlogs. Um... That said, I'm, I'm brewing a pot of coffee right now. I did a small workout, took a shower, as you can tell. Um, or not tell. I don't know. My hair's a mess. <laughs> um, I, I've been sitting here, and then I'm about to start Sons of Anarchy Season 6. I've been binge-watching it like crazy. Huge shout-out to, I believe it was Amber, who uh, recommended that to me. Uh, really, really liking it, and I know Season seven's like, I think that's what they're currently on, right? It's the last season, so looking forward to seeing that and how that plays out. Um, it's the hardest part about binge-watching something when it comes to an end, and... I'm liking it so far. It's really, really interesting, and it makes me, one, it makes me want to get a motorcycle when I'm older, but <laughs> two, um, it's it's a little, there's there's some parts of it, in dialogue, it's a little long-winded for me, like I, I skip through some of the dialogue just because I can kind of, I get the gist of what they're going to talk about, the whole conversation, and where it's going to lead to, um, so I don't stick around for the whole dialogue because I'm very, I'm, I'm impatient when it comes to that, and I'm, when I'm watching the shows, and I know I can just skip ahead. Um, Aside from that, no, I'm really, really enjoying it. I love the cast. I love the characters. All that good stuff. Um, anyways, other than that, I'm going to be working as I do that. I might be staying up a little bit late tonight since, like I said, now Mondays and Tuesdays I won't have to wake up early since my assistant will be coming in. And this is something I was thinking about. I was thinking about my sleep schedule, and I've been trying to get that on par. Obviously, the days where she comes in, I'll have to be waking up early. But the other days, I'm probably going to be a little bit more lenient because nowadays I realize, like, my time zone, me waking up early here... It, it benefits me in the sense I'm getting a habit. I'm getting into the, in, in the you know, uh, I'm getting into the, yeah, the habit of things. But, in the routine, I should say. That's the word I'm looking for. But, as far as my business goes, my business is global. And it benefits me more when I'm up late past midnight and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm able to communicate with people in the U.S. much more easier on a, on a kind of one-to-one -one basis. And at the end of the day, as long as you get your six to eight hours of sleep, your allotted time of sleep then that's what counts, I figure, at the end of the day. You know, as long as your body gets that sleep. Because it doesn't really matter, like, if you can be living in the States or whatever, here, Japan, etc. 
um, whatever time zone you're living in. Because I remember when I was younger, like that's a lot of how it was. I was sleeping throughout the day, working at night. And then sometimes that's how it has to be. Uh, it's one of the sacrifices and one of the, you know, the obstacles of working overseas. Uh, I don't do business here locally in Japan, you know, so it, it doesn't, I'm not saying it doesn't benefit me to wake up early, but in a sense for business, it doesn't. Um, so, you know, it's it's all about adjusting and it's all about, I, I really believe in this, developing the habits of success. I just got done watching a video of Warren Buffett and Jay-Z, an interview they did in Forbes in 2013. That's a very, like, uh, it's a very contrasting bunch, but uh, both very successful in their own rights. Um, and Warren said something that really stuck out to me. Where he goes, you know, you got to develop the habits of success in the sense that look at who you admire, the successful people in your life, whether it's family, friends, entrepreneurs, etc. And look at what traits you admire in them and embody that. And in the sense that, you know, I'm, I'm here to say you don't have to mirror that somebody. That's something I thought when I was younger. I have to be that person. I'm going to be exactly like that person. And as you grow up, you learn to kind of carve your own path. Um, but to embody those traits that you admire in people and, and make them your own. I think it's a big part of success and being successful is to develop the habits, whether that is, you know, time management or delegation or whatever it is. Develop the habits of success. That angelic voice you just heard was Keenan Grannis, a cover of Am I Wrong by Nico and Vins that just came out. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below. It's 2.30 a.m. I'm still up. Uh, the only upside of that was I got to see that cover as soon as it got released. Just finishing some last minute things. Um, but yeah, that, that was Keenan Grannis. Just really flawless as always. Uh, <laughs> my favorite YouTube artist. I've already talked about this in the past. Um, and definitely my number one YouTube if there's a such thing as a YouTube crush, I, I, I think Keenan Grannis probably <laughs> is is my is to qualify for my number one. Is I really support her content. She does really amazing stuff. But um, one of the things she talked about in the video is actually Patreon, and Patreon is a crowdfunding site where people can contribute to your videos uh, and pay like a certain amount per video you release. And she's talking about how she's able to go on tour now worldwide, bringing her band due to that. And I think in the music, especially not just her, but a lot of the independent artists out there on YouTube, a lot of them that I follow are really taking advantage of Patreon. And that's really awesome to see because I've seen a lot of them like upgrade their video co uh, quality content by buying new cameras and audio equipment, um, going on tour, doing all this great stuff just because of things like Patreon, where the users in the community are able to give back to artists that they support. And especially independent artists on YouTube, it's, it's just a really great thing to see. I think it's, it's one of the uh, big things I think recently that have, has happened for YouTube. Really great uh, service. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to be listening to that song on her cover <laughs> on repeat as I try to power through another 30 minutes of uh, work here. Um, I'm actually, I'm still trying to work it out. I need to still accommodate for hotel and plane ticket, but I'm trying to get down to uh, Tokyo in September. September, early first week. No, yeah, yeah, first week of September about to see Miss Grannis live. <laughs> um, she'll be performing there twice, two shows, I think, two or three shows, actually four shows. She does, she does a late show and an early show. Um, and I'm trying to get down to Tokyo just right now. I, I gotta shift a lot of work, but that would definitely be worth missing work <laughs> to go see a live performance, see her live here in Japan. Um, but yeah, all right, enough fanboying. I'm gonna call it a night, call it a vlog. Uh, enjoy your Monday and start the work week or whatever it is for you. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the vlogs, and I'll catch you all in the next video.